He sniggled us back. Yeah. Went away for a week. Went up north for a bit, if you know what I mean. Anyway, today we are back with Open Suze or Suza Leap 15.4. Remember, there is another version. Well, there's several versions, actually. The other one's called Tumbleweed. We'll go through them in a minute when we go on the web and check out the web browsers. But this is a quick one on Open Suze or Suza with the XFC desktop. Yeah, yeah, I know it's XFC again, but I do like it. Maybe next time we do a big one, we'll do a different desktop. Just to make a change. We'll go with KDE or something, okay? So, when you've installed it, this is installed in the box, this is what you get. I updated this about 30 minutes ago, so it's currently completely up to date. It was a quite a big download, it was about half a gig. But, hook on the hunky dory, yeah, super duper. We're not going to go through the whole thing here, as usual, makes the videos too long. We're just going to go through the main things, all the things I feel like doing. Anyway, this is your welcome screen. You can build, access, contribute, help, FQT, get software, documentation. Read it if you wish. It's entirely up to you. I also showed you how to customise your desktop. Most of you will know how to do that. I might do one in the future. Who knows? So we're going to close that, come out of that. It's a very, very, very clean looking desktop. Very clean, this XFCE. I do like it. It's got better. See, I've been away from it for quite a while. And now when you come back to it, you go, oh yeah, it was good anyway. Uh, well, the only downside though is now XFC does use more RAM than KDE. That's a turn up for the books, isn't it? it? Used to be the other way around. But hey, what do I know? So, the menu is in the same place, bottom left hand side, with a little lizard there to say hello. And we click on our menu, and it is classic XFCE, but very, very quick, which I like. So the things we're going to go through here first is Yast. Yast is it's oh, what can I say? Yast is Yast is a system settings thing, and we'll go into that in a minute. But the first thing I want to show you was the Yast Software Center. This is how you install stuff here, or one of the ways you can install it. Okay, so what's my password? Oh, one too many. That should do it. Or was it the wrong one again? Oh, wrong one. That should do it. There you go. See. Oh dear, dear, dear. And it goes through this little thing here to make sure everything is all updated. And eventually, we get to this screen here. So I'm going to bring it down here for you so you can see what we're doing. I'll have a quick drinkage while we're waiting for me to get going in a minute. Hmm. Oh, sweet apple today. Mm -hmm. Very, very easy to use. Remember, OpenSUSE is based on Red Hat stuff. So it should be pretty reliable. And I know quite a few people who do use it full time and have been for years. It just it doesn't suit so many people. But I think if you want a real, real stable system, this could be the way for you to go. Anyway, <clears throat> say you want to search thing. I've already used it because I've installed a few things. But say I wanted to install Caden Live again. So we'll just type in Caden Live. Hit enter. There you go. It's there. And it's 2112. Oh, good. So it's quite an up to date one, so that's cool. All you do, you just click there. It wants both packages, and they are, let's have a look, 52 and 8. So that's quite a quick download. So if we accept that, and we click here, oh, it wants lots of stuff as well. Okay, automatic changing. Oh, automatic. Oh, oh. Shall we? Yeah, I suppose we could do, couldn't we? That's not too much, really, is it? Or is it? Have a look. Are they kill They're all kilobytes, so we can do that. So I'm going to go continue. And off we go. Now, it's just downloading. We're nearly there already. It went too long. Uh, downloading, when I was downloading some packages earlier, I thought it wasn't particularly quick. Okay. And like now, it's not particularly quick. But I'm going to blame that on the box, to be honest with you. That is what it is. Sometimes the box can be great, and other times the network section can just be rubbish. And it really lets you down, doesn't it? So we're going to go for a little bit longer, because it's nearly there, isn't it? Oh, by the way, if I go here... Where was it? I want to show you something. The About Me section has also changed the XFCE, which I thought was rather tasty, if you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, usually in the box... It's super. It comes up full screen once it's installed. It's superb. Uh, do allocate it enough um, hard drive space. So I've given this about 28, 30. I can't remember. Otherwise, you will run out of room. 
And bear in mind, if you're not going to use it full time anyway, you can just delete the whole section afterwards, can't you? Oh, there we go. Wasn't too much, was it? Oh no, another 219 megabytes it wants. Oh no, it doesn't. See, now these ones are coming down quite a bit quicker. Maybe because they're from a different repository, do you think? Could be, couldn't it? Could be. Anyway, your web browser of choice here, I'll bring it up while that's doing stuff, is the Fox. So if we click up Firefox, I've allocated it four cores, so it should be able to handle it quite a bit. And there you go. Superb. So say I wanted to go to look at OpenSUSE. Okay. I will, what I'll do, I'll just give it that. I'll just type this in. And we go down to here. Open Suze, superb. And there you go. And this is where you can download it from. Okay. So the one we've got here is Leap. So it's nice and stable with regular releases. Tumbleweed is a rolling release. Okay. Rolling. The other ones they offer are micro Um <clears throat> Now I've not gone into this too much, so I might do this in, in the week sometime because I didn't ever heard of them before, to be honest with you. Never ever. But yeah, that's where you get it. Superb. Nice. And that was Firefox. Pretty quick, wasn't it? Oh, we're finished. Installed 158 packages. So it wasn't too bad, really, was it? Total install size is 219 megabytes. And we downloaded 52.9. So we've finished that. We're going to go to our menu. And if we go to multimedia, in theory, it should be there. Let's see if it loads up OK. And if it has all the add-ons it needs to run correctly. Good, looking good. We'll give it a bit longer. Oh, I can't stand it. Oh, we crashed. Ah, see, that's why I'm doing these with you and not going through everything properly first because you get to see the problems the same time as me. Let's try that again. This is 2003. That's not working, is it? So you might have to do a restart or it might not work at all. Now, in my Ubuntu system, I've just gone for the snap package because it's always up to date. It works perfectly. Job done. Mm. And this is supposed to be stable. That's not good, is it? Anyway, there's one, one, one. Okay. One, one, one. Anyway, Chunderbird is a mail client they give you here. I'm going to go over to Yast as well to show you this piece here. It wants your password again. It wants your password all the time. It's basically your control, <clears throat> I'll do that again, your control centre for your media checks, online updates, configuration, software management and repositories. Also your hardware. Right. <clears throat> I tried to connect my printer. My printer didn't want to connect because it didn't recognise the password. So that went out the window as well. Okay. It's been all right apart from that, to be honest. Under system, bootloader, date and time, network settings, your partitioner as well. Should we have a look at that? Let's have a look at that. It can't hurt, can it? It can't hurt. Yes, we're going to go to yes with that one. We've got flashing. Oh, it's, oh, it's their partitioner. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Okay, for our main drive here, it's using ButterFS. Mm, maybe that's the problem. Who knew? Okay, we're finished there. Nice. And come out of that. Next, <clears throat> we'll go to Internet. Chrome works perfectly, as you would think so. And it, uh, and it wants all this all the time. This is what I don't like about it. Should be able to do it easy. So if I go to the tube, we we'll type him in, we'll just go to the main page here. I've already set them to dark. It loads up reasonably quickly. Can't complain about that. And that's all right. Yeah. So the basics actually work perfectly. But Kaden Live's not working. Hmm, no good. Office, we'll just do one section from Office. We'll go and get LibreOffice Calc to run. I think it's the most current version, so that's cool. I like it. It just it just works, doesn't it? Mainly. Sometimes. Not all the time. Under graphics. Gimp we've got here. I'm not sure if I have to install that. I can't remember. We'll have a look. Have a quick look. See? Loads up fine. Superb. And... Come on, come on, come on, come on. Whew, I thought it was going to crash then. Hmm. So I'll make that full screen. That's lovely, isn't it? I like the way it integrates with the XFC desktop, to be honest with you. I really, really do. So, <clears throat> there's not much else to show you, really. And I don't want to make the video too long. 
But if you like XFCE and you're willing to give something different a go, go and give it a go. But I'll come back with another video, like I said with the other videos, with a little catch up and to see how we got on with uh, installing other software. I mean, I installed a um, simple screen recorder. That's this here. If I click here, that works perfectly. No, no problem at all. You can actually record, you know, recording. It's great, you know. So yeah. Anyway, that's that. Sneaky Linux out. I'll see you later. Bye bye.